gentlemen, your host, a licensed professional teacher, a professional all-event singing host, Tawang ng Tamalan Visayas Contender, and an all-around teacher ng Tanay, Mr. Michael Samosa. Tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed beauty, charm, and confidence come to life. The quest to the most empowered and transformational Opogon woman continues as we stage one of the most highlighted events in this fiesta celebration. Of course, seven of the most driven Opogon women vying for the most coveted title for this side of the city. Again, ladies and gentlemen, maayong gabi kay natong tanan. Why don't we give our ladies here on stage a round of applause. Thank you very much, ladies. You may now exit the stage and prepare to slay the next segment of the competition. Thank you very much. Unfolding before you, ladies and gentlemen, is one of a gone tradition. Now, one of these ladies will be taking home the crown tonight. The crown that has been passed on to generations from an array of Obogon beauties. And with that, in this festivity, I am Michael Somoza. And this is the grand coronation night of Miss Obogon 2024. Definitely the energy is so high. These ladies truly represent the best of the best. And they are here tonight to prove why they deserve to win the title tonight. Now beyond what the eyes can see, beyond what our eyes can see, these women possess the qualities of a true queen who embodies not only Tanhai City's captivating beauty, but also the sense of purpose and responsibility. She is a paragon of beauty and a bastion of strength for her community, especially for her fellow youth. And with that, again, ladies and gentlemen, why don't we give ourselves a round of applause? Oh, yeah. At this point, I'd like to take this opportune moment to thank the following people who, in one way or another, have helped this one to make a success. Honorable Raquel Cuevas, the Punong Barangay of Barangay Obogon. Let's give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for being so supportive in the activities for this fiesta celebration. We also have the Barangay Cagawats, Honorable Teddy Formento. If you're here, please stand so we could recognize you. We also have Miss Honorable Wilfredo Olis Jr. Honorable Jose Marie Orshada. Honorable Margie Alde. Honorable Elivel Lara. Honorable Ronita Espinosa. Honorable Edgardo Valencia. Honorable Nicole Rodriguez, the very active, very flexible SK chairperson of Barangay Obogon. We also have the Barangay Secretary, Jonah May Capildo, the Barangay Treasurer, Hari Dean Avalos. Again, let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. They've been preparing for this painstakingly over one month for you to see and witness. At this point, we will proceed to introducing our selection committee. For every competition, this committee really holds the tough responsibility of selecting our rightful and deserving winner tonight. Let's meet our judges. Our first judge was a class valedictorian, respectively, of Obogon Elementary School class of 2002 and of Lona National High School class of 2006. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree in nursing cum laude in Cinnamon University in 2010 and became a registered nurse in 2011. After working in hospitals and other private institutions, he decided to pursue his law studies and was admitted to Cinnamon University College of Law in 2016. He finished his law studies in March 2020 and passed the 2020 to 2021 bar examinations as an exemplary pastor. He 
now manages Gara Law Office with his three partner lawyers in San Jai City and Dumaguete City. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to our first judge attorney, Joseph James Torres Gara. Our second judge is taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English at Diaz College, Bini Bini Legislative 2023, Miss Young Ten Hai 2023, Sindulok Ten Hai Festival Queen 2023, and the reigning Miss Ten Hai City 2024. Let's give it up for LJ Cabo Nason Moreno. Our third judge. In 2015, he represented Tanhai City Division and became the champion in the regional poster making competition held in Cebu City. His opera was presented in the National Capital Region and once again won as the champion. In 2019, he was granted as one of the YMCA's outstanding students in Negros Oriental. He was the title holder of Mr. Ama Olympics 2019. He became a broadcasting intern in one of the finest radio broadcasting industries in the Philippines, Brigada News FM Dumaguete. He was a personal development coach and speech trainer on several school, local, and provincial pageants. In 2023, he was recognized as one of the recipients of the Presidential Academic Award of Negros Oriental State University, Dumaguete. He finished his bachelor's degree in mass communication with the latter Latin honor distinction of Vania Cum Laude at Negros Oriental State University. Today, he is the newly elected Sangguniyan Kabataan Chairperson of Barangay Poblacion Sete and by succession, he became the Sangguniyan Kabataan Federation Secretary in the city of Tenhai. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to the one and only SK Chairperson Raul Humuat Kutam Jr. Our fourth judge is Miss Science High Bai City 2005. Miss Negros Oriental 4H 2005. Second runner up, Miss Central Visayas Regional Athletic Association Meet 2006. She was the 2006 Miss Tenhai and Miss Dumaguete Tourism 2007. Let's give a round of applause to the one and only my homie in the Department of Education, Mrs. La Horny Guerrero Putalan. And seated as the chairman of the selection committee, an educator for 28 long years, she serves the whole Dep and Tanhai City Division as the chief of school to governance and operations division. She recently gave her support and services to the local government unit as the Fiesta Director General for the 2024 Tanai City Fiesta Directorate. As a private person, she is simply a doting mother of a, to a son who is an engineering graduate and a daughter who is first year in college and a loving wife of Dr. Tito Benedict Suyo, also an education program supervisor in Aralik, Palipona, and Tanai City Division. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce the chairman of our selection committee, Dr. Milagros Gordo 